Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna do a cute patriotic craft. We're leading on into July. So we're gonna make do with the time we have and try to do a couple more patriotic crafts. So if you are watching replay, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. Um, there's people hopping on. Hey, say hey once you get here. Hey guys. <coughs> Hey Kelly, hey Lisa, hey Twyla. I'm just, this is just one of those little Dollar Tree signs, you know, the little box signs they have. I always keep a whole bunch of these in my stash and I just pop the little heart off. That's all. Hey Dawn, hey Luann and Shannon, all my friends. Patriotic's your new fave. I love Patriotic too. I don't feel like I've done enough. I just did a beach craft, so. Yay, hey Jen, yes, I made it home safe. Hey Dina, I'm just sanding that down where that heart was, that's all. Trying to get, get started. No glitter on this one, so we're good. Oh, thanks Luann. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Thank you, Rebecca, hello, hey Debbie. All right, so we're going to make a cute craft. It's going to be like a little shelf sitter type thing. Um, I always keep these little boxes that Dollar Tree has. I keep them on hand pretty much all the time. I have a container full. Um, so when I need something, oh, thanks, Denise. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Debbie. Um, hey, Dana. <clears throat> yes, I had a wonderful vacation. I'm peeling over here on my shoulder. <laughs> so, um, like, I sat every day with the sun, like, you know, beaming in this way. So like, I got major burn right here, even though I sprayed sunscreen. Hey Gail, hey Marcidia. Okay, so we're gonna make a cute little craft with one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. But we're gonna do a cool technique to it. And um, we talked about it briefly on the live uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe. Hey Carol, hey Sherry and Jane. Um, and we talked about it, and I told y'all that every time I did this technique that I have to look it up to see how to do it. So we're gonna do crackle, but then we're gonna add a cute element on the front that we're gonna make. Um, yeah, I got a good suntan, don't I? <laughs> I just need to keep it. <laughs> um, so the bottle does tell you it's crackle medium, and I hear that you can do it with Elmer's glue. I've not ever done it before, but this is just um, the folk art uh, crackle medium. I think it comes in a smaller bottle and I'm sure the other brands have theirs as well. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Um, yeah, it, but Arlene, I didn't say burn, but a couple days, but I just peeled right here, like right where that sun on that tender skin right there. But, um, uh, yes, we had a wonderful time. The kids had a wonderful time. But anyway, it does tell you on the bottle, it says base coat first, let dry, apply this, let dry, and then put the top coat. So, I always have to look at it though because I always get confused. Um, hello from Ohio. Oh, no, I don't want my white. Okay, so I'm gonna use, um, and I tested it today because I made sure that uh, the chalk paint would crackle. So I did try this to, with chalk paint to make sure it would, but you can use acrylic paint, whatever you wanna use. Um, I'm just gonna use the Crimson from um, Waverly and the ocean, because we're doing patriotic, so I'm doing ocean and crimson. Um, Lindy, it's fun. The crackle's fun. I did a little, tried it today, so um, <laughs> so we, I got that out of the way to make sure it would crackle. Hey, Nancy and Rhonda. So I'm just going to put a little bit. So whatever you put on your base, that's going to be what shows through the crackle part, okay? So I'm just putting a little bit of this crimson out here, and you can use acrylic. Uh, whatever you want to do. Oh, Terry, they're good. My son and his wife actually went and saw them yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I had to go over there and see them, of course. But I had to go get some furniture that wouldn't fit in his, their apartment. So, to put in my house. So, we kind of traded stuff. So, I had to go see them. So, yeah, I was, I've been to Florida. I've been to Florida. Through Alabama, Mississippi. Tennessee and Arkansas. <laughs> I've been all over the world, I feel like. Hey, Darcy. Okay, so I've got my blue and my red, which is Crimson and Ocean by Waverly. 
okay? And y'all, I'm going to have to, and there's Paige right there, the newlyweds. Okay, so what you do is whatever you put on the base, that's what's going to crackle through the top coat, okay? So if you wanted black, you'd put black, and that would be the color of your crackle little lines. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and chat with y'all, and we're going to paint this. But I'm not going to paint it solid, okay? And you'll see why in just a minute. Yes, I had a wonderful vacation. So I'm just going to, um, like, paint that. Just, I'm gonna paint little splotches here and there because this is what's gonna show through my top coat, which is gonna be white. And I'm not, I guess I'll paint the sides white too. So let's, I'm just kind of painting red splotches and then we'll go in there in between there and paint my blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey Debbie, hey Linda, hey Marcedia. Yeah, traveling Lee, that's it. I mean, I have. I've covered a lot of few, uh, several states in the last several, several days, but um, it's all good. I wanted to see them anyway. They're doing good. They're trying to get everything situated and moved in and um, get used to regular life, and Paige will start her teaching job um, pretty soon. So, so there's my red, and I'm not really sure what to do to the sides. I may just leave the sides plain because I'm not really worried about the sides. All right, so there's my, I just randomly did it, okay? So don't think you gotta be perfect, cause you don't. So now I'm gonna get my blue, my ocean. Hey, Sherry. Cause this is what's just gonna crackle through, okay? So it's really not gonna matter. So there's my blue. So I, the part that we're gonna put on the top, that's what I was gonna show y'all tonight. Well, it kind of grew from there. <laughs> I started doing, you know, doing what I was going to do, which I'm going to show y'all. And then it kind of morphed into making a little shelf sitter thing with it. So we kind of, I kind of changed it all up today. Many states, Cheryl, it's, it's a, we did a lot of driving. It took, it's supposed to be like a seven hour drive from our house to Destin, Florida. And it ended up being a 10 hour drive because you have to stop. But then the traffic was horrendous. I'm talking about horrendous. Everybody's going to the beach because last year we didn't get to go on a vacation. Nobody did. So everybody's making up for it this year, but it was beautiful. We had a lovely time. It was wonderful. And I hated to leave because it was so pretty the day we left. Okay. All right. So ugly, I know, but that's going to be our under, our undercoat. Okay. So I don't really have to want, worry about what, the way it looks. You love traveling airplane. Yes, I like I like flying too. Believe me, I love to fly. You just get on and you're there and oh, I'm here, I'm done. It's wonderful. Hey Tara. So this is just a little box, one of those little box signs from Dollar Tree that I keep in my stash. I keep, I keep them all the time. Just when I need something, I just, uh, put it on. Hey, Christy. There's Christy from Christy's Craft Room. Happy Monday. All right. So, I'm just kind of giving this a little, like I said, it's ugly, but that's what's going to crackle through, okay? But we're going to um, kind of let this dry a little bit while we're making the part to go on the front. Had to join the long way around. Nicole, I'm sorry. I don't, a lot of people are saying that, that I don't know if it's just Facebook because they're changing everything up. So I guess we just need to be patient with them that they're trying to make it better. Oh, this is one of those shirts from the Beware Sportswear place. Thank you. Oh, my light, my power just kind of went. Okay. I got some blobs. I'm trying to get dry. So like I said, no rhyme or reason. I just slapped on some red and blue. And I know that's going to drag up once I paint that, so I'm trying to mash it down. Thank you, Becky. Okay. Alright, so I got that. Alright, so there's that part. So now we have to take our crackle. See, it's folk art crackle medium, and I think it does come in a um, smaller bottle. Thank you, Kelly. 
And um, so you put your base coat, whatever you want to crackle through, you put that first. And then you're gonna put this on and let it dry. So we're gonna let that dry while we're, while I'm doing the other part. So the way I understand, cause I have done this before, but the thicker that you put this coat on, see it's clear. It's just like clear, looks like, I don't know, just clear glue or something. But the thicker that you put it on, the better your crackle will be. I don't know if that's true. So I'm gonna be real heavy with it and just paint a real thick coat on it. Cause you, I think it'll crackle a lot more is what I, way I understand it. I did, you know, I didn't find a lot of shells because you know, it's so picked over because there's so many people there. Um, and it gets picked over, but there really was not. And I expected it to be a lot more than it was considering that storm just came from, came through. Oh, hi, thank you, Martha. Oh, there's, that's Deidre's mother-in-law. I thought about her a lot this weekend too. I, I guess I had a lot of time to, downtime to sit and think and I thought about Deidre quite a lot while I was at the beach. She and I had taken many trips to the beach in our, in our friendship. So, okay. So see, it's real shiny and glossy. You can kind of see the light in it and it's real thick. I am gonna try to dry it just a little. <clears throat> Your bones already crackle. <laughs> Mine too. Thank y'all for spreading the love. Okay, Cherie, it's like a, um, you put your base coat on, and then you put the crackle medium on and let, and let it dry, which I'm drying it a little bit because it is thick. And it, Nell says glue will work. I heard Elmer's glue will work too. But then I'm going to cover this up with white, and so then the paint's going to crackle, and you're going to be able to see this red and blue through the paint, through the crackle. Oh, the water is so deep that the shells don't come up. Okay, well maybe that's what it is. Because today when I had to let this dry on its own just to see, it took forever. So I'm just gonna kind of get it halfway dry and then we're gonna work on what we're gonna put on the top. So I just put some splotches of red and blue paint, just random, and then I put my crackle medium on and I'm drying it. Oh, you get in trouble if you take shells from California? Wow. Well, there was hardly any. I mean, like, there was little bitty ones, but I was really shocked. As I've been going to the beach my whole life, and I've never been where there wasn't shells. I mean, it was just clean. Like, there was none. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set this to the side and let that do its thing and let it dry. Okay, get all this out of the way. So now I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna put on top, okay? Cause I'm gonna coat that with the white Waverly and then it's gonna crackle and show the red and blue through there. So this is something I've been wanting to do and I haven't, just hadn't done it. Um, so I, let me get my, I got a lot of stuff up here. So let me get my, my I'm using felt. Now you can use, paper's going on the floor. You can use scrapbook paper. You can use whatever you want to use, okay? But I'm gonna use some felt. All right, where's my blue? Here's some blue. Okay, so I got red, white, and blue strings, okay? But something that's gonna, um, you could use burlap for this. You could use whatever you want to, just as long as it's got a little bit of weight to it to where it'll stand up. So I'll show y'all what we're gonna make. <laughs> how about, how about I just show y'all? I'm gonna show y'all how to make a pinwheel. Isn't that cute? See, it's my little pinwheel, but we're gonna put one on this little sign. These, they look hard to make, but they're really not. Um, <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. So I sat here today and played with them and made some. And this one is felt. And then this one is scrapbook paper. Look how stinking adorable this is. And you can make them as big as small as you wanna make them. Uh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? This is scrapbook paper that I had that's like two-sided. So we're gonna do we're gonna do one with paper and we're gonna do one with felt, but you can use burlap. Anything that's kind of you know it's got a little bit of, of body to it, I guess, is the better word. So fat, regular fabric probably wouldn't work unless you put the um, 
fusible stuff on the back, maybe. Maybe that's a better word, the fusible um, stuff. Okay, so my box is, let's see, my box is like five, almost six, probably by six. Yes, it's about six by six. So I'm gonna go with a four inch uh, pinwheel, okay? So I went ahead and made me a square template because when we trying to do the rotary cutter on something this small, it's kind of hard. So I went ahead and made a four inch square. So I'm gonna lay this down and where's my Sharpie? I'm just gonna grab this brown Sharpie that I have. Um, and I'm gonna put it on my felt. You just need a perfect square, okay? It needs to be a perfect square. So I'm just drawing out my square. Where are the scissors? Where'd I buy the crackle? Uh, probably Hobby Lobby, if I had to guess, or I don't know. I don't know if Walmart has it. They might have it. Um, but you can get it at any craft store. I'm sure Amazon, no, I got that on Amazon. That's where I got it. Let me pull the sticker off. Felt came from Walmart. I have tons of felt though. I love working with felt. What did I put on first? I painted the base coat first and then I put the crackle on and it's drying. I'm trying to get this sticker off, my goodness. I just go to another, well, I've already got it cut out. I mean, drawn out, so I'll just cut this one. So now I'm just gonna cut out my square. <laughs> I just wanted to do some pinwheels for my tear tray. And um, I kinda had it in my mind to, to do it and I just haven't done it and tonight's the night. <laughs> Okay, so I've got just a perfect square. So, like I said, you can do these um, big, small. I mean, I have a template here for a five inch. Okay, so now I got that's going to be the back color. So now I want my white to be uh, the next color. So since that was four, I'm not going to do quite three because let me show you. Okay, so see this one's three layers. Okay. So I'm going to do the next color, the white. I'm going to do it just a little bigger than the three. So I'm going to put my, my template to where I have a little bit of space all the way around. Does that make sense? And cut it just a, just a titch bigger than the three. Not, not a two or not a four, but just a little bit bigger than the three. Three and a half maybe, but I'm just kind of gonna eyeball it and cut it. I'm a big eyeballer. <laughs> My husband's a true measurer all the way, but I'm an eyeballer. Okay, so see how I did that? I just took my three and went just, just a titch bigger all the way around, okay? See? So now I've got that. So it's gonna look like this. So I have red on the outside. All right, and so now I'm gonna take my, well, let's see. I'm gonna take the, and do a true three this time. I had to think about it. So I'm gonna do a true three. I'm gonna lay my, see, that's why I cut a template. So I wouldn't have to sit there and get my little cutting board out and all that stuff. It was just easier for me to show you how. And I'm just gonna basically cut beside my little template. It's just a piece of cardboard. I think it came in the middle of one of those fat quarters or something like that. Some little car piece of cardboard. <clears throat> okay. So now I've got my, my true three. So now, so we got something that looks like this. Let me get it straight. Okay. Like this. So it's going to make a real pretty pinwheel. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're gonna glue these together. I made that fuzzy where I got, tried to get this sticker off because I don't want it to show. Just gotta be careful not to, that thing is stuck on there. Jeez, let go. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> hey Donna, hey Linda. Okay. So I'm just gonna take hot glue 
And I'm just basically gonna, you know, run a little bead up there on the top and then run some over here. And something I did find out today when I was playing with this is you really need to hold down the felt while it's the hot glue is drying. A titch, yeah, that's a little smaller than a smidge or maybe a bigger, I don't know. <laughs> Use the heat gun on it, okay. So I'm just running a little bead all the way around the perimeter of my square so they'll, it'll be together. <coughs> yeah, it's stuck like Chuck. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the blue. What in the world? That's a pretty color blue, isn't it? Okay. Hey, Lori. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down, get, get it kind of even, but in the end, it's not gonna be, you know, we're not graded on perfection, so it'll be fine. Get that end up, and I'm gonna run another, just so I can get these three all one piece. got sneezy there for a second. Heat the sticker. Yeah, no, I'm scared I'll melt the felt though. That heat gun will melt that stuff up in a heartbeat, that felt. That glue strings. Okay, so now all our pieces are together. Now, if we were doing this with paper, which we're going to in a minute, I'm going to show you, um, we would fold it and make creases. Okay, but we don't have that. So, best thing I can say is we're going to start at the corner and we're going to cut up not all the way to the center. You're going to cut about halfway to the center. Does that make sense? I'll show you. So, you don't want to cut all the way up to the center, just ha about halfway. So, I just kind of eyeball where I think the center might be and then I just kind of go in. So, I didn't go all the way in, I just kind of went about halfway. <coughs> and these are so easy, it's, it's ridiculous, y'all. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's all there is to that? It's easy. Okay, so I just kind of, you can kind of gauge and see about how far down each one of them is. So see, I'm not going all the way to the center, I'm just going about halfway cut through that hot glue. Okay, so see I've got that one and that one. Let's do one more. Like I said, we're not graded on perfection, so we're good. So, so you can kind of see there how my lines, I went about halfway to the center on each one. Oh, not the glue, the heat gun. Yeah, buddy, if you hold that stuff right up there to that heat, ooh, it'll melt all up in a glob. Ask my friend Kelly. She'll tell you, because she did it the night she was over here. She, she like, melted a piece of paper. <laughs> it was funny. Now she's going to be like, you shouldn't have told that. Okay, now, we got our square. Here's the back. See how I cut? What in the world? That blue, oh, I guess that's blue paint. Okay, so anyway, so there's my square. I didn't cut all the way to the center. So now, you're gonna take one of the corners and you gotta do the same corner all the way around. We're gonna take the corner and we're gonna pull it to the middle like this. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. And this is the part where I found out today that you need to sit here and hold this because if you don't hold it, and you let go, it'll just, it won't stick. So I have to sit here and hold it per, for a pretty while, a good while. Hey, Patricia from Canada. Yeah, the red's easier to see. Okay, so let's, let's pick somebody. Let me scroll, I'm gonna scroll way back. I picked Donna, Donna, you are a lucky duck because I just picked you the other night. Bonnie Morris. If you will message me when we get through, I will send you happy mail. Everybody likes happy mail, right? I'll send you one of these little guys. Let me get back. There we go. Okay, all right, so it's stuck down. All right, so see? 
So now I took this corner, so now I'm gonna go over here and pull this corner. And you'll know because it won't look right. See, that's our little pinwheel thing, okay? So you just lay it down and you're gonna pull this corner, this corner, that corner, and that corner. And you'll kind of know on which side you you start with. As long as you, when you start with one, you gotta do the same one all the way around. You'll see what I'm talking about when you start. Okay, let's hold that down. Oh, Carol. <laughs> okay, so everybody have a good weekend. I missed y'all. Um, I wasn't on Thursday. My son texts me Thursday night. He's like, are you not live tonight? I'm like, no. I said, I did a live from the beach and then we're doing beachy stuff. What size are my squares? Um, four inch. I made a little template so it'd be easier to cut. Four inch. And then the white, I did a little bit bigger all the way around of a three. And then I did the blue in three. But you could do whatever size you need to do this. Um, so that one, that one. All right. So see, I did this, this corner. And then I jumped down and did this one. And now I'm gonna jump over and do this this one. And you'll know when you when you go to make yours, you'll know what corner. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, four inch and then a little bigger than three, and then the three inch. Oh, Sue, so you're sweet. I missed y'all too. I just um we had lots of fun though. We did. Um the weather was great. We got in the sun every day. I mean, it had its, there's a couple of days where it, it rained a little bit in the beginning, but it was beautiful. It would clear up and get real pretty. Like, I think Monday, they said it was supposed to be like 90% of chance of rain. It was beautiful. Oh, you've always wanted to do it, Judy. Now you have to try it. Oh, I gotta have some water. That ice comes through that hole in that glass. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I'm using felt. So look how adorable this is. It's so stinking cute and so easy. And we're gonna do it with paper. Um, <clears throat> so you can see we can fold it, but look how stinking cute this is. Now, here's the part you can embellish the center however you want. If you want to do a split, one of those split beads and paint it and put that in the center, you could do that. Um, Y'all know I have a, a button problem. So I'm going to use buttons and I'm going to put buttons in the middle of mine. That's what I did here. Um, but you could put anything that you want to put in the middle. Um, get creative. Use, you could paint up a cap to a little water bottle, uh, you know, like a Coke, uh, a soda top or something like that. You could do that. You could get, um, get all creative with it. I keep thinking they're white and it's like a pink color. All right. I don't like that one. Not a lot of white in here. Here's one. So I'm going to put a white one. And then I might put a colored one on top. So I'm gonna put this white button right in the center. It's gonna be cute. But yeah, these would be cute too. The little split, the split beads would be adorable. Um, but I'm just gonna use buttons because I have a jillion buttons. Good, Michelle, you did your patriotic No, Okay, so there's my white. Cute. And let's see, then I might no. I almost should leave it white, I think. It kind of stands out more. Uh-oh. Somebody said I froze. Maybe she, she needs to go out. Am I froze? I have a button problem, too. I know, Judy. It's like buttons in jars. This makes my heart go pitter-patter. I don't know what it is. I just love it. So that's why I have mine in jars. Because I love to look at them. Yes, yellow and black. Yes, with the bead, that would be really cute. See how adorable this is? Okay, 
So I'm gonna set my little pinwheel to the side. See, we're gonna paint a coat over this and I'm gonna show y'all how to make the paper ones. You get that little spot right there dry. Okay. So now we're gonna put the top coat. We're gonna sit it over here and let it dry and do a crackle, it's, do its thing. Mm, I don't know how you make the ones with the five points. Um, I think I'm just gonna dump my paint. I'm almost to the end, y'all. I gotta get some um, before they quit selling the, the Waverly. I went to mine this morning to Walmart and they didn't have any white. <clears throat> okay, so I got my, my painted base and then I have the crackle medium on top and it's all dried. So you paint it and you let it dry. Crackle medium, let that dry. Now, the key to this is when you put the paint on, you don't wanna sit there and do this back and forth, okay? You kinda of wanna do as less strokes as you have to. So I'm going to get a good amount of paint on my brush, okay? And I always get nervous. I gotta go across it a couple of times at least to get it covered. But I've always heard that you don't wanna go back and forth. Okay. Like that. Cause I'm taking it off, I feel like, but anyway. And then when it gets down to the bottom of this big jar, it seems like it gets chunky, it gets thick. All right. Oh, what happened? There was a piece of stuff, like dried chalk paint. <laughs> It was like a little surface from the Dollar Tree. Just one of those little boxes that they have. That's all it was. I try to keep those because I can always do something with them. It's hard just to do one stroke and get it covered. But we're gonna put our pinwheel right in the middle I want to go back and forth and it's it's hard not to go back and forth. Okay. So it's already starting to crackle. Y'all see that right there? I need to cover that up. Okay. And I'm going to drag some on the side. The sides I didn't put crackle on. I'm just going to paint the sides. They're already white, but they're not as white as this Waverly is. Um, I'm using chalk paint. It will work with acrylic, and I tested it today to make sure that it would work with the chalk paint because I, I wasn't sure, so I did it to try it out. So we're gonna let this dry while we're making some more pinwheels with paper. You know, I like to show y'all something twice at least. Okay. All right, so there it is. See, it's already starting to kind of do its thing. So as it dries, it will crackle more. All right, so I'm gonna leave it alone and not mess with it. And get this off my hands. Oh, Colin's on too? <laughs> yeah, add a little water, it gets, it gets thick. It does, it gets really thick stuff everywhere okay so there's our pinwheel so that's gonna go in the middle of that um, but we're gonna let's do some with paper um, so that way I can show you how to crease you can crease it and it'll be cute so this little book I've had for a while it came from Michaels and it's already six by six so we're I'm just gonna show you that's what I made this one out of because see the paper is double-sided so it turns out really cute because the paper has two sides. Now you could you could um, glue two pieces of paper together like with a glue stick or something, um, the little school glue sticks, and it would probably be, um, it would work fine. I'm just trying to find some paper. I think it was a Pete, here it is. I think I'm gonna use this. This is really pretty. It's got like these pink and blue and green on there. And then the back side is this um, pretty, turquoise color okay so now if you're doing it with paper 
Make sure you have a perfect square, okay? It doesn't matter what size it is, make sure it's perfectly square. So you're gonna fold it in like we're making paper airplanes and you're gonna crease it just like that. So you make your crease. So this, they help you. You can't really make the creases on the felt or whatever, but you just kind of have to imagine your line being there without a crease. Okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're gonna make a crease. So you can see it better over here. So see, now I have this. So I'm gonna cut halfway between here and the point. So I'm gonna go up till about right here, okay? You don't wanna cut all the way to the center. So I'm gonna cut about halfway on each one of the points. I can't tell on this side. Let me get on this side. That print messes with your eyes, you can't see. Yeah, I like that little pad too. I normally don't buy pads, but I liked those prints. They were real pretty and summery, and um, I've had it for a while. Okay, so now you can see on this side, I cut about halfway, maybe a little more than halfway. I didn't cut all the way to the center, okay? So now, what I was telling you a minute ago, like, if you're gonna start here and pull this one down, then you're, when you go to the next one, you're gonna take, I have to look at it. That one down. Okay, if you're gonna start here and pull this to the middle, then you're gonna go here and pull this to the middle. And like I said, when you start making yours, you'll know when you have the wrong corner. You'll know. All right, so I'm gonna put a little dot of glue right in the middle and I'm gonna pull that corner down. But it doesn't matter which corner you start with. Um, I guess it'll go the other way. I don't know. <laughs> but these won't spin like we they would if they were had the little, like a brad through there, which you could definitely do that for sure. Um, but I just wanted some for the look of pinwheels. <clears throat> so I got this one, this top, pull it down. So now I'm going to go down here and pull it this one up. But burlap would be cute because burlap kind of is stiff. It's got like a little body to it. Hey, Susan. Yes, I love this paper. It's called um, Sparkleberry Ink. Um, Sparkleberry Ink is like a, they started a company, um, um, heat transfer vinyl. And I do have some of their vinyl. And it's beautiful vinyl. If you do Cricut or heat transfer vinyl, that's where I know them from. And then they, I got that, that pad was their prints, but it's so pretty. Look at all the little colors. And it's two-sided. Most of these little books, some of them, a good bit of them are two-sided. Uh, thank you, Becky. You're sweet. Okay. But like I said, if you got your little pinwheel going and then you grab the wrong side, you're going to know. Like, that's, you know that's not going to be right. So you had to go down here and pull this one. See, it, you'll know, because your pinwheel is not going to be a pinwheel. <laughs> Did I skip one? Yay, thousand. Y'all are so sweet to share the love. Yeah, Patricia, you could definitely paint your burlap, and it would get stiff. Y'all seen me paint burlap before, if you've been watching me any amount of time, and it makes it really stiff. Okay easy. It's that easy, guys. That is so easy. But look how sick and cute it is when it's double-sided. And see, the felt, we just kind of like layered our felt to get this look. I got glue strings. And then this is double-sided. But now, I did, this is just regular paper that's white on the back from Hobby Lobby. And of course, you don't want to get the price tag in your pinwheel, so make sure the corner you cut doesn't have the the price tag, but see, it's just white, but look how pretty that is. Um, so let's see, let's do it. I'm going to do it again, but see, then I will, then I'll glue a button or like I said, or one of these little split, split ball beads. We'll glue that in the center and it'll be cute as can be. And it's so simple and pretty. So if you got like a little party that you're doing or just for the 4th of July, just break out your scrapbook paper. Like I said, make sure you don't use the part that's got the price stamped on it. And let's see. 
this is let's do the four um and i'm basically just gonna now you see why i got a template i just kind of can go snip 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 and snip 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 and it's quick and fast okay so same thing perfect square as long as you got a perfect square you're great um hey sue paul and sue welcome 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 okay so square and like i said corner to corner increase and then do the same thing to the opposite corners increase it like that so now you have that all right take your scissors and cut on your corner and go about halfway to the center Ooh, that one went wonky I mean you don't even have to measure just kind of go right on up and then you have maybe y'all can see it better on that side so I cut about halfway to the center and then you just I to always start with my right hand corner and fold that top down but this is how easy and fast they go so if you had you a bunch of squares you could let your kids or your grandkids sit there and cut out squares and then you just snip and fold and glue them down. Yeah, they would be cute for all seasons. Somebody's birthday, if you're having a birthday party, real quick, easy decorations. Um, I glued mine to uh, bamboo skewers, or you can use dowels. You could paint these whatever color you wanted to, like uh, the black and white buffalo check. I just painted that stick black. And see, then I just kind of put a little piece over the back where you can't see my stick on my hot glue. So, so cute. And then this one. And this one. See, I'll show y'all the back. See? I just put a piece of felt and glued it over the felt. Just like that. It's so cute and easy. I kind of got a little carried away. Can y'all tell? I, I made a few. <laughs> I was like, I'll make one out of this. And I'll make one this color. And, you know, before you know it, got a whole bunch <laughs> hmm yeah you could get some mylar I'm thinking what could you use for that okay all the glue see look how cute and if you had some paper that's got blue I don't have any blue actually not any like uh, Americana blue but look how cute this is Let's see, I'm gonna glue, I did paint a couple of these, the little split balls, and I'm gonna put this one in the middle of that one. I actually painted them with markers. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. Where's my, oh, this one. I think I'm gonna just do it. Let's do it natural. Well, I don't know. Y'all, I gotta have some color. Yeah, the felt ones I love too. But the paper, if you can find paper that has on both sides. But like I said, the white looks really good with this too. Because it's already got the white dots. Okay, Billy, we'll say a prayer for your husband. He's having surgery on Thursday. We will do that. We'll say a prayer for him. Okay. Yes, you could do it on a garland. Who said that? Let's see. Lindy said that. Yes, you can. You could punch a hole and you could hang them on your garland or you could even attach it back here and string them across. That would be so super cute. But any kind of occasion, I mean, a party, a, you know, birthday party, a graduation party, uh, 4th of July. But then I just take my little bamboo skewer and I put a gob of glue first, a gob of glue. And then I just lay my stick down in it and I kind of prop it up where it'll stay. And then I just took a piece of the paper and cut a little bitty piece off like this, just to kind of cover it up in case somebody sees the back and glue it over it. And that's all it is. It's so simple. It's, it's, it's so simple, but it's cute and makes a big statement at the same time. I mean, you put all these together like this. And if I had this one on a stick, you know, put them all in a vase together. So cute. Even with the patriotic, the, the, the fabric flowers that I made, like these flowers that I taught y'all, this would be so cute. I mean, can you see how stinking adorable this would be? 
with flowers and make some small ones like this and all the same colors. Oh, be so cute for a shower or a party or anything or just decoration on your tiered tray because you can make them small. You can make them T90 is what I like to say. You can make them small, little bitty and have little bitty ones. But look how good that bead look, that, that half split ball, whatever you call them. Look how good that looks in the center. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah, this is live. So if you're watching, it's live. <laughs> she said replay. Okay, Brenda, we will. Okay, so let me show you. It's not totally dry, so I'm not gonna show you just yet. It looks so good though, y'all. Wait till you see. It's funny because it'll sit here and crackle right before your eyes. It's crazy. Cataract surgery. Okay, we'll be praying for you too. Y'all, that's so cool. It just crackles right in front of your face. This looks really so good. Because, I, you know, I did the red and the blue all over the different splotches. So, um... So you can see different places is red, different places is blue. Okay. All right, here it is. It looks so awesome, guys. Look at that. Can y'all see it? It looks so, so cool. Because I just randomly put the red and the blue. But look how awesome this looks. It looks so, so cool. But I did it kind of thick, like I said, so it would... Um, crackle really big and I think the heat gun kind of helped it a little bit Cause these these crack these cracks got really big when I put the heat on there I was like oh lord <laughs> but I want to be able to see that I'm just drying this side I got kind of heavy-handed I missed a spot look y'all see that I missed that spot <laughs> I got a big gob right there but I totally missed that end. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> hey, Terry from Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi too. Mississippi is in the house. Okay, Mississippi State is playing in the College World Series. Whoop, whoop, go dogs. Even though, I, I mean, I'm my husband's a Mississippi State fan, but you know, they're our home school and they're playing in the College World Series, which is so exciting. Okay. Look at how cool that is. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is take my little pinwheel. How stinking adorable is this going to be? With all those colors. <clears throat> now, I'm trying to think. I got stuff for a bow. So I'm trying to think. Yes, Kathy, I've, I've heard that you could use Elmer's glue. I would do it kind of thick. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm trying to think how, which way I want to be up. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. All right, I'm just put a big gob of hot glue on the back. And I'm gonna sit here and hold it down. All right, and we'll, we'll scroll and find somebody for happy mail. Susan Swanner Swift. Oh, that's a mouthful, Susan. Susan Swanner Swift. If you will message me, swear to go, Susan Swanner with one N, Swift. Message my page and you will, I will send him out to you so you can paint him yourself. Let me get that. Okay. Uh oh, it's not a good start. 701 Vandy. Oh. Don't say that. Oh no. Okay. Look how cute. How cute is that? You could also paint the inside. You could put it on the inside or you could do something totally extra on this side. Look how stinking cute. But the question is now, do you think it needs a bow? <sighs> He's glued to the game. Yep. Most everybody around here I know is. I was debating 
whether I should even go live because I know a lot of people are watching the College World Series. So I'm just gonna do the little refabbed messy bow. I just got scraps of fabric. Yeah, I told y'all I don't throw stuff away. And I'm just going to, I just kinda, sometimes I just dig in my little bin over here and dig some pieces out that might would work. And some of them are too short, but and I'm just going to make a bow. Because y'all think it needs a bow? <laughs> so stay and sticking cute. Y'all think it needs a bow? I'm just layering. Here's some of this material we used the other night on that shutter. It's really long, but I'm going to throw it in there and we'll cut them off. I put the paint and let it dry. And then I put the crackle stuff on the crackle medium, and then I let it dry, and then I painted the white, and see, you can see all of the red and the blue poking through, because, you know, I just kind of randomly painted splotches on there. That's why I did it, and it looked ugly, but it looks pretty now, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why I did it that way, so you could see red here, blue here, and it wouldn't be, you know, I started to do it half and half, and then I thought, no, because I just kind of want it to be everywhere. So I just did that. Okay, so do y'all think it needs a bow? You're the bright spot till the dogs come back. I know, they gotta come back. They gotta come back. They, and they've been to the World Series a many, many a times. So that's a lot to be said for them, that uh, the coaches, because they needs a bead hanger. Yeah, it could do a bead hanger. The bow will look like a firework bead hanger would look good. I could put, I could even put them on the corners like that. That might be too much though if I put those on there. No bow. Bead hanger would be so cute. Red, white, and blue beads. You love to watch me make them. So no bow. Y'all don't think it needs a, I could cut it short. I'm going to make it because if I don't even use it on this, I'll use it somewhere else. Okay. So, you know, I like to use zip ties, Dollar Tree. I can't ever find them though, they're hard to find. But I love to use them with these because I can never get my jute tight enough. So I like to use a zip tie. So if y'all can't see what I'm doing, I just flipped it over and So I can get it super duper tight with my zip tie. But if I don't like it on there, I can always, I'll use this bow on something else. Too much with the half beads. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. You can kind of go too far sometimes, put too much stuff. Sometimes less is more. Now I'm just doing my hair cut. The top of a bead hanger. That would look cute. I kind of wanted it to sit on my table though. The bow's going to take away from the pinwheel. Okay, we're going to see. I kind of think it might do. But what if I put it at the top? Like. All right. We're gonna look, just see. And you could turn this any way you wanted to, really. There's no really right, right way. I don't know why I was so worried about it. What about up here? What if I put it up there? Is that too much? I think it's too much. It might be too much if I put, if I put that up there. Bead hanger, everybody's saying bead hanger, bead hanger. Well, I can't paint the beads, let's see. What do I have? They're going to make me dig out some beads. And leave them natural? Because <clears throat> I don't think I have any painted. Maybe sponge paint a word on it. Like USA. So, Y'all going to make me do it. Put a bow at the top of the box. See, that's what I was thinking of here. 
too much. That's too much, ain't it? On the top. So yay, nay, no, yes. It's too long. Too much with the bow. I'm kind of thinking it is too. I'm still, I'm still hair cutting it. Yeah, it is. See, it'll be too much over here, too. Without the bow. I think it's cute like that. But so you could do the bead hanger like everybody's saying. Um, Amazon craft stores. What are they saying? Okay. I had to get that piece of wood out of there. Y'all gonna make me turn this into a hanger instead of a table sitter. Do the beads and put the bow at the top of the beads. Okay. And I gotta remember, odd number, well, even number, so they'll hang, it'll hang in the middle. If I want a shelf sitter, put the bow. Let's do eight. Just for giggles, we're gonna put it on there. Yeah, it takes away. I think it takes away from the pinwheel too. Sometimes a less is more. Wire hanger. That won't go through there. I kind of feel like I have to hold my mouth right. Okay, that's not going to be enough though, but like that. Ooh. Super, super cute. Wrap some fabric or ribbon around the side. Ooh, that would be good. That would be good. Like that. Like that. I don't have any like close by. That would be cute. Like. Dun -dun. You know what would be cute too? Is if I painted some of these and put them all around the sides. Like that. <laughs> like that. I have to do that and paint them. What do y'all think about that? If I painted them, just lay bow on tear and try it next to it. Yeah, I'm gonna put, if I'll use that bow, I'll use this somewhere else and just use it as a filler or like a little pom-pom on my tear tray. Yes, this would be cute, wouldn't it? If I did like, Red, blue, red, blue, like did them on the sides and then stood it up on the bottom. That would be cute. Jute hanger down the back. Let's paint split balls and put one in each corner. Ribbon around the sides. Yes, and y'all, my ribbon is still in my old craft room. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> okay, so y'all think y'all can make the pinwheels? I think y'all got it down pat. Ta -da. Um, so you got felt, because it stays on its own. Felt's really inexpensive. So you can go to Walmart and they're like 25 cents a sheet or something, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and get all kinds of colors of felt, or you can do paper, but they're so cute. So I love, do y'all see how I threw that turquoise in there? I thought that was cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up painting these. Uh, Y'all got beads rolling off the table. Um, ain't red and blue. No white. Amazing. I like the beads. Less is more. So y'all don't like that? If I paint them and put them on all the sides? Like that. I don't even know if I got tape. I'm trying to see. I have tape to tape to paint these little things. They're gonna make me paint them. Definitely looking back at this craft to make the pinwheels. Yes, you gotta make the pinwheels, especially for this weekend. Pinwheels is like a a staple for Fourth of July or summer. Where's my half beads? My half there they are. Nope, that's the big ones.
blue size and red, something different. Do you have enough blue star material to ground the sides? I do have enough of that blue star material. That's still not right. This, uh, yes, I have enough of that to go around the sides. I would just have to cut it really straight. I like the half beads, plain on. Okay, I gotta have four on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that's twelve. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. The half beads are cute. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. Just because I have everything right here I can do those with. Ooh, I then set my pinwheel down in my paint. Red and blue reeds around the box, okay. I like the ribbon too, but I think this kind of gives it a little bit of, I don't know, dimension, but y'all have a time painting these things without having them taped to the table. Usually I tape them down where they don't go anywhere and paint them like that. But they'll dry fast. Because it's this chalk paint, they'll dry really quick. So I'm gonna paint four, blue, four, no, six and six. Whoop, there ain't no paint in that plate. I don't know why I got the plate out. Or get around the bottoms of them. We're gonna see. I don't have to use them. I can always take them off. You need the link. Um, Kathy, they're probably in the, um, in my Amazon store. It's on the first pin post on my page. Um, you can go there and it should take you in my Amazon shop. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Last red one. We'll just paint them and see what they're going to look like. I don't have to glue them. Just see. Where's my blue? Yeah, I'm just going to set my bow on my tiered tray. Or for something else. Do you have wire to make a hanger? Yes, Gail, I have wire. Yeah, I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm going to do four on each side. So I'm going to paint six blue and six red. Sixteen. Yeah, I'm not going to do all four sides because I'm going. it's going to sit flat. So I don't need sixteen. Yeah, I was kind of confused there for a second. And I thought, now how many do I need? <laughs> Y'all help me out. Yep. It's going to be a different blue, though. That's the thing. So, I may have to finish it when we get off. And add... Because I don't have any of that dark blue. Hold on. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Here we go. You missed the beginning, Sharon. We made these cute pinwheels, and I made this crackle, crackle sign, and we put a made a cute little pinwheel and put on it. This is Ultramarine by Deco Art, and it looks the same color. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm getting crackle all over my fingers. That matches. No, it don't because I'm mixing it with chalk paint. Guess what we had for supper? We brought back some shrimp and some different fish. I don't even know what my husband bought. And my husband made shrimp etouffee tonight for supper and it was so good with fresh shrimp. Oh, I need to wash that paintbrush out. Here we go. I got chalk paint and that paint mixed together. <laughs> yes, shrimp was so good. I love shrimp too. 
it was really good. My husband outdid himself. Then he put some on the grill and we grilled them, just seasoned them and grilled them and they were awesome. Okay. They were awesome. I'm trying to get these the right color because I painted it the chalk paint first. That's a pretty color. See how blue pretty that is? It's ultramarine. I don't need any ultramarine on my shirt. I just got it on my finger. These little things are a booger to paint. That's why I like to tape them to the counter or to the table. That way I can kind of paint and they don't move around. And I don't have to hold them. I don't have any tape nearby. Yes, yeah, folk art. The crackle is folk art. Yes. If you want to screenshot that, you can. That way you'll know. I think I got mine off Amazon, but I know Hobby Lobby and all those stores have it. And they may have it in a smaller bottle. This is an 8-ounce bottle. Probably don't need that much. But try the Elmer's glue or the school glue from Dollar Tree and see if that works. Just try it on something to see. And you may not even need the crackle because I have heard that works. That blue doesn't cover as well, but, okay. Whew. Yum, shrimp, yes. <clears throat> it was very good. Oh, he was a commercial fisherman for 30 years. Wow. I bet you got sick of shrimp then, didn't you? I am from Mississippi. Okay. Yes, Mississippi, North Mississippi. I got blue paint. I can just get near the paint bottle and I'll have paint all over me, y'all. I don't know. Are y'all that way too? Because I cannot help but get it on me. Somehow, some way. The next day, I'll look around and I'll have like paint over here on my cuticle or something. I'm like, I haven't even took a bath. Okay. So maybe they're somewhat dry. All right. So if I put red, we can just decide. We cannot even, don't even have to do it. And then C. My blue ones are still wanting to be a little wet. Blue, red, like that. So yes or no, if I should put them all the way around the sides. I will miss some spots on those. I see, let me turn it around where y'all can't see it. <laughs> Y'all won't see my spots I missed. Okay. So yes, no, maybe so. Kathy, you paint your base coat first, and then I think you put the Elmer's glue on and you let it dry. And then you put the, uh, the your top coat on and it'll make it crackle. But I didn't use Elmer's, I just used the crackle medium. But I hear that you can do it. So do y'all like the little beads or the I gotta fix those spots yes you get paint all over you too mm. it's thirsty so y'all like those yes that's what I was I normally do Deborah I put the painters tape down and I stick them to it and then I paint them but I don't have any close by or even masking tape or anything <clears throat> yeah, you let it, let it dry and then paint over it and it'll crackle. But I would try the Elmer's glue on something else and see if that works. Truthfully, you like it with just the pinwheel. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm torn, y'all. I don't know what to do. And put them on the sides too. Like, I know y'all can't really see it, but because it's, like when I hold it up, I know you can't see it. Y'all can see it like that. And do it around the sides. Oh, you paint on top of the Elmer's glue wet. Oh, okay. So this stuff, you let it dry. But they're saying the Elmer's that you don't. Okay, so some people are saying no beads. Okay, what about this? 
Should I put them up here? Should I put them in the corners? Ooh. Let me just look at it. Let me just look at it. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna hold it up, but y'all can kind of see. And they said no, they said no, um, don't let the Elmers dry completely, is what somebody said. Put the hanger beads instead. No, but I want it to sit on my shelf. <laughs> I didn't want to have to hang. You li Everybody likes it with just the pinwheel. So maybe I'll put the stuff around the sides. I'm gonna have to surprise y'all when I, when I get off and I'll go get some of that fabric. I don't know, just beads on top. It's a toss up, so I don't know. Already got blue right there. Might as well go ahead and, well, y'all. <laughs> I can't even follow a pattern. Cute, cute, cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may have to play with it. Let's see. I don't know. Or put these on the sides and put the bow on the top. <laughs> okay, somebody likes it in the corners. I know I want to put, I hate to put just one color, but then it's like, how do I split this? Like, see, there's going to be blue and red, blue and red. Beads on the top and the sides. Beads on all sides, Carolyn says. I know, I kind of like them. I kind of like them. So I may just finish it in a few minutes. Or finish it tomorrow and surprise y'all what I do because so, I don't know I'm torn I might have to sleep on it you know how you kind of have to walk away and then you come back and you have the answer so I think that's what I'm gonna do try the blue beads in the corners they're stuck to my paper towel at the moment I may have to just sleep on it that looks kind of pretty too. That looks pretty. Add a little something something to both. That's right. Red beans in the corners. Okay, there's the blue for those of y'all that wanted to see the blue. <laughs> Trying to keep it from sliding down. Opposite corners, red. I know, but when I do the opposite, it's like no matter. <clears throat> well, look at there. Thank you for that help there. I couldn't figure out how to do it where there wasn't two beside each other. They look better on the front corners. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go with it and do it. There we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm living on the edge, y'all. I'm living on the edge. I should have painted them silver. That would really look cool. I'm living on the edge. I'm going out on the edge. <laughs> there it is. No? Blue beads in the corners. Okay. I may have to do something to the sides. <laughs> yes, that way, Sherry said. That looks, I like that better. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm playing now. See, look how cute the crackle is. Is it not pretty? I hope y'all try the crackle, or at least try it with Elmer's and see what happens. I mean, if you mess this up, it's a dollar. But try it on some scrap something first and paint your colors. Put the Elmer's glue, and they said, the some of y'all said to put the Elmer's glue down and don't let it dry completely, and then paint over it and it'll crackle. That's very cute, is it not? And then we'll have all these little extra doodads. 
Um, you'll start making them and you're going to get all crazy too. You're like, oh, I need to make one in this color and I need to make one with this fabric and this felt and this paper and look how stinking cute the buffalo check one is. <laughs> I just love it. It's just so happy. They just, they're just happy. Aren't they cute? It's so, and it's so easy. So if you, if you're just now hopping on and you need to know how to make these, it's easy. Just watch the replay. Perfect square. That's the key. You gotta have a perfect square. And like I said, I cut out little templates like this so I could just easily draw and make my square. So it was so easy. Put the red ribbon around this side. Yes. Like this is a piece of gingham. It's obviously got a flaw in it, but see the big square? Look. <laughs> but yeah, I could do that. See, that might add a little, a little zhuzh to it. But I don't have a piece long enough. I gotta go get some over here. <laughs> Had to tear off some, but yes, that would look really cute. I might have to do that. Christy done it on Christy's craft room last night. What'd she do? I didn't see her last night. Test the craft wheel on a popsicle stick. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could get a, um, I tested my crackle on a piece of wood that I had. That was a, a a too big of a hole tag that I cut and I did it on that. So that's how I did mine. <laughs> so I just tested it on my piece of wood. So just whatever you have, try it with the Elmer's glue and y'all let me know if it works. Love the bow on top, star fabric. Oh, okay, y'all like the star fabric. So I got, I got red star fabric and then I have the blue too. So I'll have to, there's the blue, and then I have red. That doesn't exactly match, but it blends a little bit. It's got some dark in it. Raffia, oh, look at now. You gonna push me over the edge, Kimberly, with your raffia. I just happened to have some from the other night when I was did something with it, and I haven't touched it since, because y'all know this right here gives me the heebie-jeebies or something. What was it we made raffia with? Oh, the, uh, was it the shutter? Like, <laughs> y'all. Uh, do the red and white fabric. Glue, the glue does work. Okay, so yeah, somebody y'all do that and y'all have to post it in the group and let me see. Yes, you'll have to make, Sue, you'll have to make the pinwheels and go back and see, they're so simple. It's just a square and you just cut at the corners and then you pin them down and it's so, so simple, but it's so cute. Yeah, less is more. So see, I just don't know if the raffia would be. Y'all know raffia is not my friend. I cannot, I, I can't tame the raffia, the star fabric. Yes, I think that would be so cute. Look at the crackle, red, blue, red, blue, all different colors through there. I saw somebody said they did an ombre. That would be, look. yeah, the ladder. That was it, Kaylee, thank you. I know all the pinwheels are so cute. I think this one's my fave. But yeah, if you find some print, some paper that's got it on both sides, that's what it looks like. And then like, this is just the white background, the white back paper, but it's still pretty. It's still very pretty. Where's my polka dot one? Oh, it went off somewhere. Where's the polka dot one, y'all? What do I do with it? Oh, it's covered up under this mountain of stuff. Look how stinking cute. I mean, how cute would a whole bunch of these look together? Cute. So if you're having a party this weekend, you gotta make you some little pinwheels and put in your, your little, you know, their shish kebab sticks. So you can stick it down in the watermelon or whatever you got displayed and stuff. It'd be so cute. <clears throat> Thin ribbon, red and blue on sides cute just like that. I gotta fix that spot I missed though. I missed a spot. It's on the bottom. <laughs> that can be the bottom. Perfect as is. A rope around. Now Deb, that would look really cute if you had some of that. I got some of that nautical, the white, and I have the brown. That would look cute too. Blue star ribbon looks great around the sides. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. I appreciate y'all being here with me tonight. Um, I will see y'all again Thursday night. I'm going to go see what the Bulldogs are doing in the, in the World Series. 
and um, I hope to see y'all Thursday. Y'all have a great week. Thank you if you're watching the replay. And if I called your name for happy mail, message me and, I will, and I'll need your address so I can send your happy mail. Oh, lemons will look cute, Kathy. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all Thursday. Bye.